Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm excited to do. It is going to be a new Shopped My Stash. So I'm gonna be going through the prior makeup bag that I had chosen out. These are all the products that I was working on for the last two months. And then I'm gonna share with you what I have chosen out for my new bag that I will be focusing on for the next two months. So I will link my playlist down below. I do in every other month rotation between my Shop My Stash and also between my Project Pan. So I have a playlist with both of those on there. My Project Pan is for items that I'm really like trying to use up or trying to hit pan in and then my shop my stash is for products that I have in my collection that I feel like need a little bit more love or that I just want to focus on using as much as I can throughout these two months so why don't we go ahead and get started all right I also wanted to say that I do have tutorials of this look over on my Instagram which is March Beauty Word I have a look on this uh I look with the new ColourPop Aura and Out palette I believe it is part of their new pastel collection and then I have some new products from the balm on my face also so that tutorial is on my Instagram and I also do link the products that I have on my face as well. So jumping into the first bag. So I just kind of go over my thoughts on using these products really consistently for the past two months. I do have a few things in here that I'm also decluttering. So all right, let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so for my face, I had out this Ilia True Skin Radiant Priming Serum. So I actually really do like this serum from like the first few times that I tried it. I thought it was really nice. It's really nice to under makeup. I think everything just sits really smooth on my skin when I wear this one. So it does come in the dropper form. It's supposed to be good for firming, smoothing, and it is aloe infused. Again, just kind of no matter what foundation I pair with this one, I just think my skin looks pretty. It just looks better. <laughs> So I am actually a really big fan of this one from Ilia. So I definitely will be keeping that. I did have out a favorite foundation of mine, a favorite drugstore, especially a foundation of mine. This is from Revlon and it is one of their photo ready, candid, natural finish, anti-pollution foundations. So I'm a really big fan of this one. I actually got it first in PR and I, I went out and bought a second shade. I wanted a shade that would suit me good for the warmer months also. So I have 240 natural beige really like this uh, foundation. I've talked about it quite a bit on my channel and I've mentioned it in favorites, but it's a very natural finish foundation, which is a favorite of mine. It's just more of like your solid medium coverage and I'm a fan of this one. So I definitely wore this a ton the past few months here. And then for my concealer, I had another one from Ilia Beauty. I had their True Skin Serum Concealer. The shade is just a little bit off for me. I have SC 1.5. It's almost just a little bit yellow for me. I've noticed since I've been using it quite a bit but it's really thin um, it's lightweight but yet it still gives a nice amount of coverage it's not my most full coverage concealer but I feel like it still gets the job done so I'm still really liking this one so I will be keeping that uh, a product I've decided I'm going to declutter it you guys know I'm not a huge fan of cream and liquid products I'm coming around I'm like coming around the mountain when when she comes what was that one I'll be coming around the mountain okay anyways you know. <laughs> so I'm trying to enjoy them a little bit more, but a couple months ago, I pulled out this one from Flower Beauty and it's one of the blush bombs. It says colored drops for cheeks. I have the shade Nectar, which is more of a peachy color. And you know, I don't wear peachy blushes as often as I do just some like nude or mauve. So color, I don't really love, but also I just don't reach for these types of products very often. So I wanted to pull it into my shop, my stash to see like how often am I using it? Do I really feel like it's worth it to keep around in my collection? And I just don't think it is. I actually really like the liquid blush from Ilia Beauty. If I want to reach for a cream or liquid product, a blush product. I'm going into that Ilia one so much more. So it just, I just don't feel like I need to keep this one around. I like, I think it's still a nice product. I think maybe if the shade was different, I would like it a little bit more or like want to keep it around just a little bit more. But even with it being in my shop, my stash bag, I was still reaching for the Ilia beauty more. So I am going to declutter that one. Okay. For my bronzer, I had this one from Dior. This was the Dior skin mineral nude bronze. So this one is really pretty. Okay. In the pan it definitely looks a lot to me it looks really really light I think on my skin it still worked really nice for me it almost was just it's not the 100% like most perfect shade match of a bronzer for me but I could still get away with it I still thought it was pretty there is a lot of fragrance to it though that was something that I noticed like I don't even know if I noticed right away with it but over time it was like every time I opened it I was like what is all of a sudden that perfume smell I don't have the best sense of smell which is like 
I want to say embarrassing, but that's not embarrassing. It just is what it is. But it was even after a while, I was like, wait a second, what is that? And I figured out it was the bronzer. I was like, oh my gosh, I wonder how long, like I'm sure it's always had a scent, but I just picked up on it. So I'm still going to keep this one around. I did get this one gifted to me, which was a really sweet gift from a subscriber. So I am going to keep it. It's just not the most perfect shade match, but it's still a nice bronzer. Up for my powder, I had my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. I have the shade 2 Medium. This is the powder that I have on today. I have a big old pan in it. I really do like this uh, powder. I do have a full video reviewing my entire Charlotte Tilbury collection. If you're interested in the products, you want to see what I like, don't like, what I like that I think is worth the price, what I like that is not worth the price. I will link that video up here in the cards. Um, but yes, obviously going to be keeping around this powder. Okay, a product that I actually used up, which is always fun for me. This is from Urban Decay and this is the All Nighter Summer Solstice Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. So this is a mini, but I really, really like this. I, I really like Urban Decay setting sprays in general. I like the Summer Solstice one. I used the cherry one um, today on my face because I have that one also, but I did use this one all the way up. I think I am going to keep this one though because I did get some full size and I can put some in here and that way it's a nice travel option. So I'm probably just going to keep this around and I'll just keep re refilling it because I do like having minis, but I did use this one all the way up. There's nothing left in there. So woohoo. All right, let's move over to my eye products because I had a lot going on for uh, these past couple months here. So I had one of the eye bases from Sigma. Um, this is our eyeshadow base a primer. I had bubbly. Then I had an hourglass glitter, one of their scattered light shadows. This is in reflect. And then from ColourPop, one of their super shock eyeshadows in a little quirky. I wore this trio so often on my eyes. It was so like, it was just a fun, easy, quick, look to put together and I wore it so much and I loved it. The Sigma eye bases are so, so nice. You can wear them as a primer if you want to, an eyeshadow primer, but I like to have the ones like bubbly is, has a little bit more of like a pinky shimmer to it. It's so beautiful all over the lid, in the inner corner, even as like a brow bone highlight, it's beautiful. So I would often start and just put this all over my eye. Then I would come in and I would just take my finger into, um, what is it? Something quirky, a little quirky from color pop and just pat it all over my lid and then come in and top it off with some reflect. These still aren't my favorite. I like the Marc Jacobs a little bit more, but I will say I started to come around a bit on this one. That's why I like doing my shot, my stash and really using products consistently. Cause sometimes when you like use a product and then a month later you use it and then five months later you use it, it's kind of hard, but because I use them so consistently, I was like, okay kind of coming around a little bit on these, but it was so pretty and I use this trio so much like you saw it in my description box a, a ton of times. Um, and yeah, I thought it was really beautiful, just like a really nice neutral opposite of what I'm wearing today, but that's okay. And I'm happy to say that I came around a bit on the ones from Hourglass. So I'm gonna be keeping all of those. Some other eye products that I am going to be decluttering these Marc Jacobs liners. So I just had, I think I just pulled out over, which was the green liner, but I still, I kept the blue one. I thought I decluttered this one in my eyeliner declutter, but I guess I didn't. But I am gonna declutter both of these. They are just, they're dried out. I have had them for years and years and years. They just really don't do anything anymore. They are, they're really, really nice liners. They're very expensive and I just have found other liners that I like so I put them in as kind of like the farewell tour for these liners but I'm ready to say farewell to them they need to go they just need to be done so I am going to be getting rid of both of these liners from Marc Jacobs all right for my mascara I have this one from CoverGirl the exhibitionist mascara I really like this mascara I've gone through two or three of them now a lot of times I grab out mascaras that um, just really need to be used up or finished off or I've had them open for a while or they're about gone so I'll put them in my shop my stash to finish them off. So I am going to be decluttering this one from CoverGirl, but I definitely would recommend their Exhibitionist. I think it's a great mascara. My brow pencil I had from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the Brow Wiz. I just, I don't have a ton of brow pencils to rotate from for my shop, my sash, but the Anastasia brow pencil, I wasn't as big of a fan as so many people seem to be of this pencil, but I have to say that I have been coming around and it was a reason, once again, coming around the mountain. What What is with me today? <laughs> But that was a reason why I wanted to put it in my shop, my sash, because I felt like I was starting to enjoy it a little bit more. So I was like, well, let me try it out really consistently and see what I think. And I, I do like it a lot more than I once used to. It's still, it's not going to be a favorite, but I do like that you have the more precise pencil on one side and you have the spoolie on the other. The shade that I have is in taupe and it honestly, it almost pulls a little bit red on me, which seems odd, but um, there's that. I do sometimes feel like it still pulls out my brow hairs a little bit too much. 
than I really prefer a brow pencil to do. But I don't dislike it as much as I once did. So there's that. I don't think I would repurchase it myself though. Uh, I just have other brow pencils that I love more, but I will keep that one until I finish it off. And then for my highlight, I have this one from ColourPop, the On The Cusp highlight. I don't think this is available anymore, which makes me super sad. I do like this one and it's a little bit more, like it's a little bit more champagne-y than um, Fluxitarian, which is a little bit more pearl. So I really like that I have this option. I was trying to decide because when I did my highlighter declutter, I kept them both and I was like, did I really need to keep On The Cusp? But I like this one. I, I really do. And sometimes if I want a little bit more like warmth to my highlighter, which I do like more pearlized highlighters and I do like more icy highlighters. That would, that's how I would describe my Start Inspired highlighter with Over Cosmetics. But you know, sometimes it's nice to switch it up. So I am still going to keep on the cusp. And then to finish it off my lip products, I have a lip liner from ColourPop. This is Beeper. Beeper is getting really, really small, just like my Oh Snap lip liner. But I also love Beeper. Oh man, and I need to sharpen it again. Ah! I like Beeper because she's a little bit darker, so when I want that effect, um, then I'll go into this one versus Oh Snap is more of like a pinky nude. This one is more darker and it also just has like a hint of purple in it, so sometimes that's just what I'm going for. And I really like ColourPop lip liners. I have bought so many of them and I think that they're great. But I really liked the combination that I chose out with Beeper and then this Huda Beauty Matte Lipstick in Joyride. Gorgeous, gorgeous nude. I love that it applies creamy but it looks matte. I absolutely love that about these lipsticks uh so yeah i'm a really big fan of this color i really like the packaging on this too and this combo i thought was fantastic so i'm going to be keeping both of those so that's all of my thoughts on the products i've been trying out for the last two months and a few things that i'm decluttering or used up and then let me show you what i pulled out for my next two months <laughs> all right so got to my next bag here for the next two months and one of the first products that i put in is this spray from wet n wild one of the reasons is because it is almost gone and i feel like i can use this up but this is their wet n wild photo focus coconut three in one priming water i really really like this i've talked about it a lot on my channel and have recommended it quite a bit um so yeah it's more than half gone so i feel like i'll be able to use it up fairly shortly here but a lot of times i do like to use it as a primer spray spray versus as a setting spray but you, you can use it as both it says to prime set and refresh but I use it as the primer one even more and I feel like sometimes in the warmer weather months like a lot of the products that I pulled out are just like kind of my quick and easy summer makeup and I usually go a bit lighter with foundation like I have the Dior backstage on today which is a really light coverage foundation uh, and sometimes I just like to instead of putting like a full primer I just like to spray my face get a little refreshed and then go in with some light makeup so I figured that that would be a good one for this um, shot my sash bag and that I can focus on using that up and I didn't really choose out a foundation this is more of a tinted moisturizer but it's just what I wear a lot of in the summer so this is from Neutrogena the healthy skin anti-aging perfecter I have raved about this one if you love tinted moisturizers or just something with a light coverage but that's still going to even out the skin tone it has SPF 20 in here it does also have some retinol in here too so it's supposed to give you like skincare benefits as you wear it retinol Retinol can be kind of a tricky ingredient to put into skincare, but I don't get tingling when I wear this like I do when I put on a retinol treatment. So even though I've actually backed away from using retinol in my skincare routine, I think that I'll still be okay to use this one here, especially because I know that I don't use this every single day or anything like that. So I think I should still be fine with that, but it says it gives you blendable sheer coverage to give you beautiful younger looking skin even after taking it off. So big fan of this one. I have the shade Light Neutral 30 and I definitely see myself wearing this a lot. I also put in here my Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. Uh, I did this because I can definitely wear it as a concealer when I do wear this one from Neutrogena or a lot of times I just wear this in the summer. I've been doing it quite a bit recently and I really want to see if I can like start to like scrape at this because I've seen a couple of my friends use this all the way up and I'm like... That's just impressive because this is a lot, like, this is a lot of product for a concealer. Like, it looks more like a foundation bottle. But I have the shade Nude. I do have two different shades, but I'm focusing on the shade Nude. So I think it matches me a little better at the moment. So I'm going to be trying to use this one up as much as I can. And again, I can use it as concealer or sometimes I just use it all over my face as, like, a really 
light coverage foundation also so that's why i grabbed that one out oh i did also grab like an actual like primer too if i'm in the mood for that this is from dermalogica and this is the hydra blur primer so uh this one is again kind of like a skincare and a makeup product in one but it's supposed to blur fine lines pores hydrate and brighten for flawless using skin flawless looking skin hello hello so it just has the little squeeze tube on here so again i figure if i'm going for more lighter coverage days but i still want to have like really nice looking skin this could be a good option to pair with either of the two other products that i just showed okay moving on to some other face products oh no i grabbed out a powder too i did do a loose powder this time because sometimes i feel like loose powder in the warmer months can just make my makeup stay on a little bit longer so i grabbed out my mini from hourglass and this is the veil translucent setting powder one of my favorite powders i love this one i have a mini we will see how much i get through in these next two months but i have a feeling it's probably going to be a lot um i love being outside but i also love my makeup to stay around so i think this is a good one to set everything okay now moving over to some face products i decided to put my marc jacobs bronzer in this shot my sash i really like this bronzer it's one of my more natural looking bronzers which i really do appreciate this is the omega what is it the omega tantastic the tantastic Omega bronze. I like this. I like that it has a big mirror. I don't really have a lot of summer plans, obviously, because of what's going on and traveling and all of that. I don't really have a lot of like summer plans going on, but this is actually a really nice bronzer to travel with because of this gigantic mirror on here. Like it's really easy to do your makeup. Girl, girl, who are you with this green eyeshadow? Mm. But I think that this is a beautiful bronzer and I've never put it into like a shot my sash or project pan because I'm like afraid to pan it because it was so expensive. But you know, I, I just spent even more money on the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. So it's like, it's like, I'm just going to see what happens. Can I pan the, what, the, hold on, hold on. Would it not be the most shocking thing in the world? Like drama channels would probably make videos about this if I panned my Marc Jacobs before I panned any of my other bronzers that I've actually put in my project pans. I have put a bronzer in my project pan videos for the last three years and I've not pan like I've not hit pan on any of them. What if, what if, what if? All right, for my blush, I decided to put in a favorite blush of mine that has been getting no love for me these days. So I was like, seems like a good time to put it into a shot my stash bag. This is from Buxom. This is the Wonderlust Primer Infused Blush in Seychelles. You guys know, I love this blush. It is one of my favorite formulas. I love this color. I think it's such a fantastic blush, but I'll be honest, my chiclet blush that I did in collaboration with Elfer Cosmetics is my most worn blush right now. I love it. It's one of the like top purchased products from the collection which shocks me I, I i don't know why i just i didn't see the blush getting as much love as it did and i love it i wear it so much i wear it so often there's other blushes that i really do enjoy too like i've been really loving the charlotte tilbury at uh, cheek to chic blushes so i am just like hardly reaching for this but it just looked so sad sitting in my makeup collection. I was like, come on over. Like, let's let's get some use out of each other. But I'm popping my Seychelles into my shop my stash bag. And hopefully that'll encourage me to wear it a little bit more than I have been. For my highlight, kind of going back to talking about cream and liquid plaque cream and liquid products i decided to put in my ColourPop light stick and this is in uh bullseye so this is a cream highlighter but you know like i mentioned i am trying to like come around the mountain or whatever i've been saying on my cream products so i was like well let me give this one a try and see what i think and again i can just like with the flower beauty blush like let's see how often i reach for it do i really grab for it because do i do i need to keep it in my collection i do really like the charlotte tilbury um magic wand highlighter i think that is beautiful so i do try to keep like different types of products in my collection as a youtuber it's nice to be able to have that um so this will be a good test to see if i really want to keep this one in there or if i think the charlotte tilbury one is fine to keep so that is my highlight from ColourPop. for my eyes i decided to just grab out one palette we had a lot going on with the eyes last week this or last month and then this month i feel like i have a lot going on with my face and complexion products so for my palette i chose out this one here from alamar cosmetics this is the reina del caribe eyeshadow palette volume one and i just thought this would be fun for summertime like there's i feel like there's a lot of different things that i could do these shimmers up here are absolutely beautiful i love that you have the pops of color here not necessarily like really 
neutral here towards the bottom but I feel like there's some different options that I could do with this one and I haven't reached for it in such a long time and I would really like to pull this one out. LMR Cosmetics has been doing like such awesome things from when they first came out with products and there's a few things that I would actually like to grab from the brand too so I just thought it would be fun to put in this palette. Uh, for my eyeliner I put in this one from Charlotte Tilbury. This is from the Green Lights collection that came out with the quads. This I just I'm such a fan of these eyeliners. They have a matte side on one end and a shimmer side on the other. I think that these are so nice. Again, I reviewed them in my Charlotte Tilbury full collection video, but I thought it would go well and just kind of like, I wear a lot of, I mean, today I have like a mint green one on in my waterline, but I do a lot of black and brown and kind of basic eyeliner. So I thought do something fun, like let's mix it up. That's kind of what I tried to do last time, but the Marc Jacobs liners are just they just needed to go. Uh, for my mascara, I have this little mini from Benefit. This is the Their Real Mascara. I have this on my lashes today. And it's just a, it's a really nice mascara. It's one of the first ones that I ever bought from Benefit. This one and the Roller Lash. And I just think that it's a good one. And I've been wearing it so much. So again, with it being a mini, I feel like after the two months time, I can just go ahead and uh, declutter that one. So I'm going to work on that. For my brow pencil, I have this one from Carity. This is also in my brows today. I love this one. I've mentioned it in favorites video. This is the Brow Goals 3-in-1 Brow Pencil. I have the shade, I think I have the shade taupe in this one. Yeah, totally taupe is what I have in this. So this is a little bit more like the Benefit Goof Proof. It's a little bit thicker, kind of has more of that diamond shape. And then you do have a spoolie on the other side, a little bit um, of a shorter one. And then in the middle, you do have a powder. Not gonna lie, I pretty much never use the powder. That's just not something I do. But I love the pencil and I feel like every time I do my brows, they look so good. Even my little niece complimented me on my brows the other day and I was like, Thank you so much. It's from Garrity. So yeah, I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of this one. And then last up, I just have my lip combination. Okay. These lip liners from Koki Cosmetics, I feel like I hear certain things being talked about from Koki and I've tried them and I'm like, okay, but I don't hear anyone talk about the lip liners and I'm like, hello. These are fantastic. So from Koki Cosmetics, uh, it is the retractable lip liner. This shade that I have here is Dusty Rose. I think, yeah, Dusty Rose. And it's beautiful. It is such a nice, Oh, it is such a nice lip liner, you guys. It is creamy. It's smooth. It's long wearing. I love this color. What? I've been wearing this so much. I feel like nobody else talks about it. I think that it's great. So I thought I would include that one from Koki Cosmetics. And then I'm going to do this gloss from Fenty Beauty because I lost it for a while and I finally found it. This is the fussy, um, lip gloss the gloss bomb in fussy so this is the one that's a little bit more pink so i thought that it would go well with the koki lip liner i misplaced it i have all of my glosses in one section and i put it in with like liquid lipsticks and i couldn't find it and i was like i love like the the fenty gloss bombs i think are so nice and i really do like fussy i was like where did that go so i finally found it so i thought to celebrate i was gonna put it in this shop my stash bag so that is my lip combo just something really simple again that's kind of what i gravitate towards in the warmer months also so just a lip liner and a gloss and after that that is everything that i have chose out to work on for these next two months here i hope that you enjoyed seeing a new shop my stash video again i will link my playlist down below if you want to catch any of these past videos or check out my project pan and what i am trying to use up right now other than that though i'd love to know what you thought about the new products that i'm going to be using for these next few months or if i had any surprises from my reviews or what i was decluttering from last month definitely let me know in the comments if you guys did enjoy this video though please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I hope you also consider subscribing before you go and I will see you in my next video. Bye.